Welcome to a new video, my name is Yuka and today I'm going to show you how I decorate ceramics. So for those of you who are interested in the process or if you want to do it yourself, this is the perfect video for you. So please do keep in mind that if you want to do this yourself, you do need a kiln, one that heats up to around 900 degrees, so you can't use your regular oven. So the first thing you need is of course some ceramics. I have mine right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have the time to do all of them, but I do want to make this batch for a sanctuary really close to my heart called Animal Sanctuary Relief. And I will tell you about them later on. So I actually bought all of my ceramics in the past and I ordered a whole palette of them. So it was like a huge amount of uh, cups and plates from Poland. So the reason that I did that is because I wanted ceramics that I knew were 100% vegan, so they didn't contain any animal bones. And also I wanted ceramics that didn't have a label on the back, so I could put my own label on the bottom of them. So that's why I ordered the whole palette of them, and this is actually the last items that I still have left. So the other thing that you need are ceramic decals and they come in sheets like this. I use another company that prints them out for me and they're quite expensive so I try to put as many on them as I can uh, and cut them all out. So these are actually made with ceramic pigments and basically what it does is when the kiln is firing it will melt the top layer of the ceramics, the glaze, and this will sink into them and when it cools down yeah, you have the finished result. So this is, for example, a plate that I made in the past. It has the same same design as my shirt. And this is another one that I made. I also have with texts and I also made some tiles, as you can see, like this one. So you can basically make all kind of things with them. And where they cut out, they look like this. So first of all, I'm going to cut a lot of these out. Oops. And then I'll show you what the next step is. So I cut out all of these images. They're quite a lot. I'm not sure if they're enough, but we'll see. And let's go apply them onto the dishes. So these two are actually animals that live at Animal Sanctuary Relief. I drew them. This is Survivor and this is Marnix. And some of them are like images that I also had left from my own drawings. And yeah, they're just a bunch of them. Different designs, little pigs. One of my rescue cats. And this is also a resident of Animal Sanctuary Relief. It's Cobus. So a bunch of different designs. I also printed out my own logo and the logo of Animal Sanctuary Relief. Well, I didn't print them out, but the company did. So yeah, let's go and to the next step. So for this step, we do need some hot water and this little squeegee thing that is called a kidney because I think it has a shape of a kidney. And the other thing I always use is toilet paper. <laughs> so we're just gonna take a plate. Next step we're going to choose the image that I want to put on. And I'm just going to put it into the hot water. And we wait a little bit. Then after a little while, it starts to come off, sort of like um, a fake tattoo. Place it now onto the plate. And you can still move it around. And place it exactly where you like. And we take the kidney and we're going to push out all of the water. And once you've done that and it's perfectly in place, I always take a little bit of toilet paper and just remove the excess water. 
and when you've done it correctly it will be yeah a little bit more sturdy you can still move it a little bit but the important thing is to take out all of the air bubbles because that will show if it doesn't stick correctly it will leave little holes after firing so one done so for this one i'll do a mug and i think it would be fun to do it like with this little piggy Unfortunately, I didn't see any rats, but maybe it's better <laughs> that they don't live here anymore. So the first thing I do is a spider check to make sure there aren't any in there. And then we're going to stack the kiln and it's sort of like uh, yeah, Tetris to make sure that everything will fit. I 
And this thing right here is actually to sense what the temperature is. So it's going to be around 900 degrees. And this kiln actually goes up to 1200, so it's really hot. So this is the first layer and then we have these just let me make sure that it's a little bit clean now we can actually add the second layer and these triangles you can use to put one on top of it the other. And I also use these blocks sometimes. Yeah, I think like this will be okay. Well, not so okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put on a third layer. You're going to place this plate facing down and a second one. Going to add another layer as well. Yeah. I think this is about it, so let's close the kiln and fire it up. So this is actually the temperature of the kiln. The green arrow you can see um, what the maximum heat of the kiln was last night. And it was around 900 degrees. And I'm going to check how hot the kiln is now. And as you can see it's a little under 100 degrees. degrees. So it's safe to open. So it's still quite hot. So yeah, it's too hot to unload, so I'm just going to leave it open and let the heat come out. I also brought a new batch of plates and mugs that I will heat afterwards. So I've got all these plates with different animals and I've got a bunch of mugs as well. So yeah, I'm going to wait a bit, uh, fill the second kiln, and see you again tomorrow. Welcome to the last part of the video. I already edited the first part and I must say it has become quite chaotic. Well, at least that matches my personality. If you haven't already liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more videos. And with no further ado, let's go to the finished result and let me tell you a little bit about Sanctuary Marine. Animal Sanctuary Leaf is a Dutch sanctuary that is just located over the border in Germany. It is run by two amazing and loving people who dedicate their whole lives into saving animals. They are helped by a wonderful team of volunteers and they save dogs, cats, cows, pigs, geese, bunnies, chickens, birds and all kinds of other animals that otherwise wouldn't have a safe place to live. I'll put a link to their website below so you can support them any way you can. Thank you for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one and keep on loving animals. Bye.